Hello, you all. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. Well, we got to pray. We don't have many more days to pray for our lost children, our lost loved ones, our enemies. We need to pray. I may not have time to start the teaching, but let's have a time of prayer, intercessory prayer for our loved ones, our enemies. Amen. Amen. And I will be back on with the teaching uh, uh, going over some scriptures that's looking at this total solar eclipse that's about to take place. You all, when I tell you it ain't, it ain't, it ain't adding up, uh-uh, no. And you're going to see why. Like I said, why would people after the, if we would go before or even after, it, listen, no one's going to, it ain't going to be no children to go see the eclipse, the total eclipse. <laughs> ain't nobody going, uh-uh, uh-uh. But and, and another thing, once we take off, when I tell you the Bible says sudden destruction, and ain't nobody going to be trying to look at no total soul eclipse. It's going to be this, uh, the survival of the fittest. Do you hear this? Do you hear that? No. So if we went before and even after, it's, it doesn't make any sense, you all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You say, but well, we could go after. Absolutely, we could. But what I'm trying to tell you all is this. If we go before, this is what I want to concentrate on. No, no one is is gonna go want to go out and look at the total solar eclipse. People are gonna be wondering what happened to their wife, their husband, their children, their grandmamas, their grandpas, uncles, aunts, cousins. No. Now let's say it happens after. Let's say we are still here and we see the total solar eclipse. Okay, but check this out. When I tell you the things they're going to insurrect, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to give you this. Little Catherine said that they were trying to, at this time, right before he snatched us, he rescued us, they tried to enforce. Okay, she said it came through the door and landed on the table. Okay, that's why I said no. none of us can say for sure. We don't know, but what if it is? What, what, what about if we do go when the total solar eclipse happens? What, what about it? It could happen, you all. And, and I wrote down some notes, a whole page full, why that is highly probable. It is. Now, if we go after we finna see some things. You better believe it. If we're here after that solar total solar eclipse, we finna see some things. I mean diabolical. And this is why you cannot be in a state of mind of any fear and panic or um anxiety. No, you all. Let me tell you something. That's when we gonna have to shine the brightest for Yeshua Hamashiach. Yes. Oh, yes. So we don't know. We could go before it. But I don't see how nobody going to come out and want to look at no total solar eclipse. This is what I'm saying. If we go before, uh-uh, listen, I said no. That doesn't add up. That don't make no sense. Ain't nobody going to want to go out. No. And, 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 and look, you all, the Bible says when we go up, Sudden destruction is hitting the entire world. Uh-uh. Uh, no. So you all, now let's say we are here and we all see this total solar eclipse together. When I tell you the things that's getting ready to pop off, even leading up to it and after it, you all... You better be buckled in. You better make sure. I mean, you should be sure right now that your soul is anchored in the Lord. And folks, that's uh, uh, how they say shucking and jiving, shucking and jiving. 
you ain't finna get strong in the Lord and in the power of his might now. Uh-uh. Listen, it's going to be too late. You got to be the real McCoy by now. Because if we are here after that total, total solar eclipse, mm -mm, we finna see things that we've never seen before. We are. And, and, and even if we do, it still ain't going to be nothing compared to when we go up and that sudden destruction hit the entire land. Now, I've been saying this from the get-go. The Lord can use us during those 40 days of warning to bring in the last harvest of souls. I done been saying that. But see, we don't know what he going to do. He could come. When that, when that thing covers, when it goes straight dark, while everybody looking up. And see, I want to say it's coming to me, the things he was giving me. Wow. But I'm away. So you all, let's pray for our children. So Heavenly Father, we come this evening. It's a bit after 9, 9 p.m. We come, first of all, thanking you thanking you for holding on to us and helping us to hold on to you. Even when we've been weak, Lord, you said when we are weak, you are strong. Hallelujah. You said it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. You said be strong in the Lord and in the power of your strength and the power of who you are, Yeshua. And Lord, you've been showing me, yes, the name of Jesus got power, ain't all power, but Lord, when it says in your holy name, Yeshua Hamashiach is your holy name. Yeshua, the holy son of Yahweh. Yes, indeed. So we come, Abba, we come, Heavenly Father, lifting up our children, our loved ones, our enemies, the folks who hate our stinking guts. Yes, Lord. Father, I want to thank you that you said we must pray for those who despitefully use us, who slander us, who hate us. You said it's easy to love those who love us. It's easy. And thank you, Holy Spirit. I wanted to say in my last video what I had learned from Joyce Meyer. Sometimes so many things be going through my mind. It's unbelievable. But listen, you all. I read one of her books, her early books, when she was still right in Christ. And it said in the book, the Lord didn't give us the Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit to do easy things. Ain't that something? Don't tell me she wasn't right. And when she first came out swinging, <laughs> yes, she was. And it's so sad. Many of them were. Many of them was never called. But I knows. That's a powerful statement of truth. And it is the truth because the hardest things to do is when someone betrays us. Even Jesus know about that. And when someone abuses you or slanders you or steal from you or hurt you, leave you, desert you, reject you for no reason. I'm talking about for no reason. Amen. Amen. So, Lord, we want to thank you. That's what your Holy Spirit for is for in us. He is our helper. When it says he is our comforter, put the word helper. And yes, he comforts us through difficult times and different situations. Absolutely. But the Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our power. He's the anointing of Yeshua HaMashiach in our lives to overcome obstacles, challenges, situations, circumstances, trials, and tribulations, and troubles of this life. And he's our power over all strongholds, any sin. Amen. He is the reason why we got the power to live holy and righteous because of the holy and righteous one, Yeshua HaMashiach. He said, my father will not leave you orphans, but he will send the Holy Spirit and he will tell you everything about me. Just like Jesus told us everything about the father. Now the father sent the Holy Spirit to remind us of the things about his son and himself. Okay. Okay. Amen. Up in here today. So you all, we just 
thank the Lord for the power he is. He is the power, glory, dominion. You know that it says, for thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever and ever. He is the power to save our children. And Lord knows, Lord knows we want him to do it on this side of the rapture, not after. But you all, he'll never go against their will. So we got to pray and it will. I know that I know that I know our prayers will meet them on the other side because the Bible says the words of God will not return void. He going to do it. We pray if they if they be left behind that whatever they got to go through, that guillotine, chop, that it happens quickly. Amen. Amen. And that they have the boldness and the wherewithal to, to, to that's what they're going to have to do. This is why we want to get it right on this side, not on the other side of the uh, rapture. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, you said with man it's impossible, but with Yahweh all things are possible if we just believe. And Lord, I know that I know you're going to save my son Thomas and my daughter Sarah, my nephews and my nieces, every last one of them, because I taught them about these things. Oh, yes, I did. Even my brothers and my sister Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, even my daddy. And so, Lord, I know you're able to do it. You can do things we know not. There's nothing too hard for you. Hallelujah. And so we just come against the enemy of their soul. We plead the holy blood over their minds, over their wills, over their conscience. We plead the holy blood of Yeshua HaMashiach over them. And we plead your holy blood against every demonic force, every demonic entity. We rebuke them in the authority of the holy name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And we come against the fortress over their minds, the lies of the philosophies of their generation and the lying people they listen to possessed of the devil talking about their ancestors i'll tell you who the ancient of days is your ancestor his name is yeshua hamashiach jesus christ the holy son of yahweh adonai and lord we come against the lies of the enemy and we lift up the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith your holy word and we thank you lord we thank Thank you that your word comes out of our mouth as a two-edged sword, cutting to pieces and demolishing the lies of Hasatan over our children's minds, over their hearts, their wills, their bodies, Lord, their emotions, Father. In the name of Jesus, we plead your blood over them. Hallelujah. And we thank you that you give us this authority to stand in the gap, even for our enemies. Lord, I don't want nobody to be left behind and I sure don't want nobody to go to hell. But now the wicked and the evil, Abba, that's your business. But Lord, we are doing what you commanded us to do, to pray for those who cannot pray for themselves, to stand in the gap, to intercede seed for souls that are blinded out here in this world in the name of Yeshua, the holy name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And we thank you for the Rah Kadash. Oh, Holy Spirit, weigh in heavy on our children's hearts. Convict them heavy. Let them have a bed of sand until they throw their hands up and say, Lord, wash me. Lord, cleanse me from all these demons of lust, cigarette smoke, marijuana, drugs, masturbation, pornography. Lord, cleanse me. Cleanse me. Forgive me, Heavenly Father. We are asking them, Lord, to cause them to have such a strong fear of God to come upon them. Ain't it something how we fear our bosses <laughs> and fear our husbands or wives or some folks fear their children? The devil is a liar. Oh, yes, we fear fear of flesh and blood and we don't fear the almighty Elohim Adonai oh no Lord 
We pray that our children, that the spirit of the Ruach HaKadosh of Yeshua HaMashiach would come upon them. And Lord, this is why you said fear the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Depart from sin and iniquity and go about doing good. No good works. It's double duty. The working on our nasty attitudes, our sick minds. Yes, indeed. That's why you said be renewed in the spirit of our mind. You said be transformed by the renewing of our mind, by the word of God. And you guys got to excuse me. Please keep me lifted in prayer. Amen. So, Lord, I thank you. I thank you that we are pressing. My goodness. You said press towards the mark of the high calling in Yeshua. Yes, and this is it. This is the last press, the last test of this life. Yes, it is. I, I said, yes, it is. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for strengthening those who mean business with you, Yeshua. Those who are not playing out here, faking the funk on the nasty dunk, Heavenly Father. You know the great pretenders, the religious Christians, they're not going no way. They're too heavy, baby. They're not going to make it, Lord, because you said lay aside the sins and the weights that so easily beset us. And you said, and everyone who has this hope, what hope? The blessed hope to be rescued up out of this bad boy, you said purifies themselves. And the only thing that can purify us is the Holy Word of God. It'll sanctify you through and through. Yes, uh-huh. Yes, it is. And yes, it will. And yes, it can. And it must, else we are none of yours. You said to Peter, if I don't wash your feet, you can have no part of me. Ain't that something? And you got these Christians who attend church every Sunday, and they don't never crack open the Word of God, the Word of life. They're not going nowhere. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you for strengthening us in this last hour. We're in the last hour. The cup of sin is full. It's full. I mean, almost tipping over the rim. So, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for Deuteronomy's power. Hallelujah, brother Deuteronomy. God bless you, brother. And I just thank you, Lord, for all the beloved saints. Oh, Father, I thank you for Brother Anthony, Pastor Ben, Pastor Sandy, Pastor, he is a pastor, Patrick, Brother Patrick, Brother Chad, Brother um, Cameron, Brother uh, Jalen. Oh, Father, I thank you for Sister Geneva. I thank you, Father, for... No, Genevieve, it's Genevieve. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for um Sister Melissa, both Sister Melissa's, uh, the one who says last day ministries, and it used to be um crazy about Jesus. I thank you for uh Sister Crystal, uh Crystal Love for Jesus. I thank you so much for that sweet, precious sister. I thank you for the entire body of the beloved saints, the true McCoys in the spirit. Hallelujah. I thank you for them, Lord, all of them, Father. We're all about to be together. But until you come, let us shine brighter than we ever have in our lives for your glory, honor, and praise and worship. Hallelujah. So we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We cannot be breaking down crying in this hour. We can't. The, the blood of Jesus. We ain't that something. We cannot let nothing disturb us. And even if it does, we got to shake it off in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeshua, Yeshua. Yes, we do. And I thank you, Lord, that you will just strengthen us. And when we are weak, that we don't be ashamed. You said when we're weak, you are strong. And I thank you, Lord, when you said, it says in Revelations that you know we have but a little bit of strength. See, Lord, you already know what's up with us. We are tired. Some of us are weary in spirit and in mind and soul. But Lord, long as we don't stop, long as we don't look back, draw back or give up, help us, Lord. Give us the last breath of life inside of us, Lord, to press towards this mark and go across this line. Draw up our legs and say, it was good. <laughs> in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. 
Yes, Lord, and I thank you. We will give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And I just plead your blood over your precious children. Yes, indeed. I pray that you will send us help out of your sanctuary from your throne. Lord, we can't do this. We don't have no power, but we know who is all powerful, and it is you. In the glorious name of Yeshua HaMashiach, his power, his Holy Ghost is our power and authority in the spirit. Yes, Lord, we're not supposed to be no punks in this hour. The devil and his demons should be worn out by us. We should be whipping on them. Bam, bam, two chops to the throat. <laughs> The joy of the Lord is our strength, saints. We got to laugh. We about to get up out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So I just thank you for Sister Clorinda, Sister Ebony, Sister um, Jeanette. I thank you for Sister Sunshine, Sister Wendy. Lord, touch us. Touch our children. Even our young children, our grandchildren need you. Brother, both Brother Patrick's, Brother Benny, Lord. I lift up all these beautiful people. You know, the most beautiful people in the world is the beloved saints of the Most High. Lord, I thank you. I have such a beautiful I have a family so large, I, I can't even imagine. And I thank you pretty soon we're going to all be together. Oh, my Lord, we're going to all be together. We're not going to remember this side no more. <laughs> and Sister Erica, do you know it says in Revelation, when we see him, when we get up there, he's going to wipe every tear away. Oh, <laughs> this, this side almost over now. <laughs> <laughs> you all we here now and we don't want to be those believers when Yeshua appear when he said when I come will I find faith many that's an individual question I said that's an individual question some saints are drawing back giving up uh-uh Mm -mm. This is where we press. This is where we bear down and press into the Lord. And then we will make it. He did say, apart from me, you can do nothing. And without me, you are nothing. So I don't know where them carnal Christians going because they ain't, they ain't connected to the vine. They them branches that's going to be thrown in the fire to be burned up. So I don't know where this one saved, always saved come from. But yes, I do. That's just a cliche, a thing. You know, we say it come from doctrines of demons. That's where it come from. Because when Yeshua come, he coming for those who look like him. If he ain't going to be able to see his reflection in you, I done been saying for over two years now, he coming for his silver and his gold. He coming for his workers and the ones who are overcomers. Do you all hear me? What he coming for sinners for? Uh-uh. His beloved saints aren't sinners. That's what we were. He said in summer, you were. Were like these things. He said were. Were. Not is. So you are. How they say that is you is or is you ain't my baby. <laughs> You all, we are so out of here. And did you see that video? Brother Anthony, know the Lord be leading him to some stuff, boy, all the time. You see that video with them angels and that baby boy said, I'm the alpha. I'm the alpha. Don't worry. And then the one boy, let me show you what I caught. The, la the Lord had the final words at the end. The boy, and they wasn't even listening to him. Adults is a mess. I don't mean no harm, but they should have listened to that child when he said, I know what they are. I know what they are. He said, those are angels. Don't worry. Those are angels. The Bible said, say, and a child shall lead them. Their, his parents should have been listening to, to him. He said, I think I know what they, at the end of the video. You know what I caught in the spirit? The Lord going to have the final say so on all matters. He's going to have the final say so. And that was the last words that was spoken 
on that video when that boy said, I, I think I know what they are. Those are angels. He said, don't worry. Those are angels. And they wasn't even listening to that child. And you know what? I'm going to have to agree with Brother Anthony. Uh, them, them was some messy Christians. That mama and that daddy, especially the mama. The dad had enough sense to say to the first little guy, I think he was either the middle boy, because it sounded like three boys, like a little baby boy, or it might have been a little baby girl, about three or four. And then the middle boy, said, I rebuke you in Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. The father rightfully spoke. He said, you don't know what those are. And he was, and he said it in such a loving, tender way to the little boy, because obviously the parents is doing something right, but they didn't seem to be seasoned. I'm going to put it that way. Don't mean they not saved. And I don't know if they ready to go. That's not my business. I got to make sure I was ready to go. <laughs> Amen. But they sounded a little shaky there. But the boy, I think it was three. Let me not do that. Three sons. Now, the one could have been a little girl, but I really believe it was three boys. And I could be wrong because I've been with kids 33 years and I kind of know in their voices when it's a girl or their age, by the way, their their uh, speech is that that boy. He had to be about anywhere from five to seven years old at the end when he said, I think I know what they are. Those are angels. And he said, don't worry. Those are angels. He was anywhere between five to seven years of age. I'm willing to bet on it. And then there was a middle boy, the one that said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and the father said, no, you don't know. You don't know what those are. In other words, he was saying those could have been of the Lord. God bless that daddy. But that mama was a she was a little shaky there. But maybe this situation will will deal with them and see maybe the Lord did that for them to see that. See y'all, we never know. That's why mm, I'm not going to go there right now. Anyway, you all let's press. We just keep praying for our loved ones. The Lord can do anything. Listen, he saved a thief on the cross. I said he saved a thief on the cross in his last dying breaths. Ain't that something? The Lord can do anything. We going to believe him. Okay, saints, he said, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Not a thing. He is the Alpha and Omega and the one son. Now, I, don't, I think that was the middle boy that said, I'm the Alpha. Yeah, I think that was him. And the Lord used him. The Lord was using them children. Sure was. And he said, a child shall lead them. So anyway, when I saw those speckles of light, to I know that I know those are angels because peace came over me. When you be looking at certain things on Mr. MBB333, you can... There is a there is a discerning and a presence when it's not of God. Oh yes, it is. When I as soon as I clicked on it and seen them lights, I knew those was angels. Peace came over me. I had peace about it. Let peace be the umpire of our souls in this last hour. You hear me? If you don't have peace, don't go. If you don't have peace, don't say it. If you don't have peace, don't have nothing to do with it. Because you all, the Bible says, be ready to give an answer to those who ask for the hope that lies within you. The ones who ask. And you got to discern even then. Oh, yes. You know what we need in this last hour? True humility and wisdom from the throne of God. Yes, we do. I say, yes, we do. So saints, I will be back on. I got my notes and I got these scriptures. And I'm telling you, if we go on that same day, which I believe is highly probable, the Lord may do it. But now if we go before, ain't nobody going to go look at no um, total solar eclipse because sudden destruction going to hit people. Think, thank you guys. Think, ain't no way. And then what children they going to be able to take to see this great event? 
Mm, we, I feel the presence of the holy angels. Angel, I got them in and outside. Amen. Inside and outside. All around us. Judah and I are here. Amen. So you all ain't going to. It ain't going to be no uh, event to look at because sudden destruction going to hit the land, the whole entire world. So we would have to go simultaneously when the thing pop off or we may be here through them 40 days. Who's to say? Could be, could be not. Who's to say? Yahweh. He calling his shots because he played the cross. I mean, well, he did pay the cross. He paid the cost to be the boss. Ain't that something? Could be. Could be. Okay. Ain't that something? But ain't no way we're gonna go before. It and I know I could be wrong, but then how are they gonna go out, Lord Jesus? How are they gonna go out and look at something when it's gonna be the survivors of the fittest? It says sudden destruction is going to break out soon as we go up. And you guys, I'm, I'm going to save it. I'm so ready to go right now. Anyway, I love you all. Let's keep praying. Don't stop praying. It says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Amen. I love you all. Let's deal with it.